Hi, Dave Smith here. So this video is uh, another in my sort of ongoing uh, series of trying to talk down um, photographic gear rather than looking at um, stuff that costs thousands and uh, reviewing latest cameras and all that stuff that uh, all those websites, all those YouTube channels do. I'm trying to do the opposite. I'm trying to show you how I go about uh, bringing together uh, my equipment in uh, a more cost-effective manner. And this video is actually about tripod heads. More specifically, tripod heads for the large 10x8 and 12x20 cameras. Now, I've used a variety of, uh, of heads and my for the long for the longest time my mainstay was Manfrotto 075B legs with a 400 geared head on top but that thing weighed a ton I mean literally even even just the geared head on its own weighed a ton so the whole the whole thing was uh, was a studio setup really and uh, I'm not really a studio photographer I tend to be out and about uh, and so you know the saying that you know what's the best tripod well the best tripod is the one you've got with you best camera the one you've got with you so that tripod hardly ever went anywhere not never uh, I did use it I had a tour through Norway a few years ago uh, took the Fuji GX680 and I put that on that uh, tripod setup but I've since got rid of that tripod <coughs> I do regret it slightly it's a phenomenal tripod but uh, very expensive. Now that I've uh, stopped the travelling and I'm settling down, I'm bringing back together uh, some of that gear. And I got to thinking about the tripod because I, I have a carbon fibre tripod with a pro gold uh, head on it, uh, ball head. Uh, you can't put the 10 8 camera on that. The, the plate is too small and the thing is too unstable. Slightest breeze and it goes into oscillation. So I was looking then at what uh, at what to do about that, um, and I was edging towards replacing it with the um, with another 400 geared head, because the plates on that are about I don't know two and a half inches, three inches, something like that, which ought to be big enough to clamp the 10 by 8 at least. Um, but as I say, they're four, five, six hundred pounds. Uh, you can get a really battered, beaten up thing for maybe 250 um, but that's not really my way. So that wasn't going to be possible and then I started to look at uh, Reese tripods and Reese heads and you're into maybe a thousand pounds there. Um, Arca Swiss have their cube over a thousand pounds. There's a, a make out of China, the name of which escapes me at the minute maybe 250 but that does have a huge plate that's got a, like a six inch plate so that's a good option uh, but then I got to thinking you know do you really need uh, a tripod head you do need do you really need some way to maneuver this camera in the same way as you might want to with a, a smaller camera and I shoot landscapes um, I shoot portraits uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know that I'm really going to need uh, any particular movement on uh, the large format cameras. So then I thought, well, that's an interesting idea. So then I decided I would dispense with the uh, head altogether and I would buy a clamp that would fit directly on top of the tripod legs. Now that won't give me any movement, obviously, but I'm suspecting that I don't really need to time will tell. So I got this thing. Now this is a, uh, a Niwa uh, clamp. There are loads of different makes and or uh, you know so it's obviously fabricated in China by one company and then it's badgered by all these resellers. But this is quite a nice thing. So you've got this, this uh, lever which allows you to uh, remove this plate and it comes out in one direction and you have to uh, release it uh, and this is the plate that would screw onto the bottom of your camera now that's uh, what is that four inches or so uh, by a couple of inches 
So that's a, that's a fairly decent footprint to sit a 10x8 camera on. Not sure the 12x20 will do for, uh, well with this, but I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, but that's a nice size plate, and I have tried this on the 8x10, and it does work pretty well. Um, so that'll slot in there. Now once it's on, it's locked in place. Okay, then you can tighten up with this. Now, there are a couple of problems here. If you imagine there's a 10 by 8 sat on top of there, this thing, if I undo that, you see that's then proud of there, it'll foul on the underside of the 10 by 8 Also, you sometimes can get fouling here against the top of the leg of the tripod. Fortunately, this thing, pull it out and you can reposition that and uh, retighten. So that's very useful. Um, I've got an extra plate for it just in case. I'm going to try the 12 by 20 but I don't think it'll work. Um, but that's my, that's my thinking so far. When I get the wet plate uh, all set up and going, this is what I'm going to use with the 10x8. So I will um, try and do a little video and show you how, uh, how that's working out. If it doesn't work, then uh, I'm back to the drawing board and probably what I will do is um, buy one of those Chinese heads uh, and put it on some Manfrotto legs. Um, but that's my thinking so far. Dirt cheap. I suppose I paid about £20 for it. It's got a whole bunch of um, mounting holes in the bottom. It's got two uh, 3 8 inch and five um, quarter by 20s so that you can mount it on pretty well anything. Um, my tripod uh, legs have 3 8 inch so I'll mount it onto there. So I'm quietly hopeful that this is going to do the job but I will let you know once I get shooting again. Okay, so I just thought that might be of uh, some interest to, to some people so I just thought I'd make a quick little video to show you that. Hope that was of some interest. Bye for now.